everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. I have a blog over there. Always check out the description box as well, because I do sometimes have lives, and the information will be there. Also, make sure you are subscribed on my platforms. That way, you will get all notifications when they pop up. I, I communicate with the audience and with clients quite often. I mean, obviously if you're a client, I can contact you via email, but I try to give you some heads up about wait time for readings and um, some other things that might be going down. If I get an intuitive hit about something, I make sure I post it. So make sure you're ready for that. Okay, so we have for today, fairy stone fertility. Now, for some of you, this might be quite literal <laughs> where you're working on your fertility or you want to start a family or something along those lines. But this is great ideas. This is being, I keep saying the word resourceful. It's what kind of keeps coming out. It's the buzzword, I guess, for the next several weeks. But the fertility is saying you have beautiful ideas. It's okay to implement these beautiful ideas. But if we come at it with any sort of ego, you know what I'm saying here, right? Um, this is going to fall apart. <laughs> I can't tell you how, how often someone's like, oh, I saw your daily where it said your creativity is flowing. And I just knew that that was for me. And I'm working on this great thing that's going to make me famous. Okay, well, especially in where the world is going, that's going to fail. Okay, that's going to fail. Now, if you're in it for the art of it, the beauty of it, the energy of it, let it be what it's going to be, but don't push anything behind it. Now, fertility too, uh, talks about manifesting. It's talking about having, you know, all the power to create the reality that you want. Now, we say that all the time. It gets a little controversial because people say, well, so if somebody is feeling depression, it's their fault. No, that, I, I can't speak to that because I'm not a psychologist. I'm not going to get myself in trouble here. But um, spiritually speaking, we all go through that. You know, we all go through moments of ups and downs and um, being confused. It's part of being human. I don't know that depression is part of being human for everybody. But, you know, there are going to be moments and it's not your fault. All right. And I'm not saying that you are never going to be able to create the life you want because you're depressed. And if you don't handle that, then you're never going to have what you want. It's not that. Part of your soul's path is learning how to recover and learning to come back from that kind of stuff. Uh, so you're in the process of overcoming. That's really, in my mind, just my opinion. I'm not a psychologist. It's not meant to be a replacement for therapy or therapeutic advice or whatever. But in my mind, um, when you're down, you're learning recovery. You're learning to overcome. You're coming. You're, you're coming back, baby. Okay, you are coming back. So it doesn't have to be something that shuts down your life. Does that make sense? Uh, and remember, you always have your spiritual team around you to help you get through these things. But the fertility here is seeing a new way. Um, maybe if you are kind of in, um, you know, a life-altering kind of state, or you know, I don't know, something might be happening for you right now where you're just feeling really, really low and you realize, oh, I can go get help in this way or I can go get help in this way and I can discover this and I can have some compassion for myself and uh, some grace, give myself some grace. I'm not behind everybody else. I'm perfectly living my path and it doesn't need to be comparable to anybody else's path. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.